Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing a little bit about how to use My Paint. My Paint is a drawing program, a painting program that is available in Linux Ubuntu. It is a free program and you can get it from your Ubuntu Software Center. And all you have to do when you are using Unity is type in a couple of letters UB to get the Software Center and it takes a second to load and it will go online. You have to be connected to the internet and you can type in my paint and M Y P A. Ah, oh, that's got it. And as you can see, I already have it. That green check mark right there is an indication that I already have this program loaded. And so I'm going to get out of the Ubuntu Software Center, go back to the menu, and I'm going to type in M for my paint. And there it is. I will tap on it and it takes a second to load. It will load with a blank screen and you can draw right on it. And I have got it in the top left corner of my screen right now and I'm doing that by means of Unity's Compiz Grid. And I'm going to go Control Alt and with the 10 key, the center key 5, that makes it full screen. But see, I wanted to demonstrate it a little bit closer up. So for that reason, I'm going to zoom in on it with Alt 6. And now I've got my paint up there. And I'll put it through its paces. Now you see that square? That's the color I'm using. And you can get every which kind of color here. I mean, there's so many ways you can get color. But I'm sort of a barbarian and I'm just using a couple of colors and every time I hit the X key it cycles back between uh, the last few colors I've used so let's use blue and this is where when I hit my left track pad key down I begin to draw now when you let go you can erase you can also do that by setting a key and I've got Z. And I can bring it back. You can change your mind after you erase something and it brings it back. Or you can erase it again a second time. You can set that key also. And then if you want to change color, let's go to red. Left trackpad key and now I'm drawing in red. You can change the size of your uh, brush or if, if you think of it as a marker, you can make it a fat marker or a skinny marker by hitting the F key. And now left trackpad key and see now I've got a wider brush. You can do something else. I'm going to make it small again by hitting D. You can see it gets smaller and larger. That's F, F, F and it gets really big. and. Uh, now I will go D, 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 D. And if you want to erase the whole thing that you, oops, the whole thing that you just did, you can just hit this key right here, or as I say, Z. But you can do a selective erase by having white. And see, now my brush is actually uh, this big. And if you want it bigger, you hit F, 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 F. And that, that's a selective eraser. I'm actually just drawing in white. Now I go back to X. Now I'm in green. Now I'll make it smaller with F, F, F. Oops. D, D, D. There's another way you can make the thing smaller and bigger. Let me get out of my zoom to demonstrate that with an Alt-5. Control-Alt-5. I want to show you something. This is going to be my period key. I'm making it bigger. Now this is the comma key. That kind of zooms in. Now if you get, get off screen, I'm using my left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, period. 
down arrow, period, down arrow, period. You can zoom in on stuff like that, left arrow, and so on. So you can really get detailed. F, D, 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 uh, left trackpad key. You, you, can, you can get very, very detailed. Now, I'm not going into like uh, how you would uh, blur things and so on. I don't know uh, how to do artistic work very well. I'm just going to show you how some aspects of the program work. As you know, with Unity, when you go up here, you've got your menu. It goes File, Edit, View, and so on. And when you tap on File, you get these menus and then there are sub menus sometimes with a little arrow. Let me find a sub menu. That's reset. Here's toolbars. That's got a sub menu and so on. And you'll notice also that there are alternate ways of pulling these things up directly like here news control N open control O and then there is F3 and then some of them have got just individual one letters of the alphabet like this one was undo and redo so that's the same thing as these uh, arrows up here and then uh, mirror vertical mirror horizontal you see there's I and a U and so on you can set all of those and you can change all of those and let me show you how to do that first of all you've got this menu structure up here on top you can get that exact same menu structure by hitting by putting your cursor somewhere down here in the drawing and then hitting the right trackpad key except now it's vertical and but it's the same menu structure now I want to change one of these for you like see where it says undo painting it says Z hmm why don't I change that to the slash? I just touched the slash. So from now on, if I want to undo a painting, uh, let me let me paint something. Left trackpad key. Oh, I'm in white. Uh, let's see X. Uh, now I'm in green. Left trackpad key, and I can either tap on this or I can just hit the slash key. Remember I used to use the Z key. But you can set all those yourself. This is a very very versatile program. Uh, you can also turn things upside down, rotate things and so on. Let me uh, get this smaller. And let's say you've drawn something and you want to rotate it. I am holding down the control key and I'm using the right arrow key now the left arrow key you see how you can turn things upside down uh, there are oh I guess dozens and dozens and dozens of things you can do with this program there are some brush settings you can tap on this and you can change all aspects of your brush here you got with uh, right you can change the brush to the favorites set one set two set three you can get all kinds of artistic things but me I'm a barbarian so I'm just using the straight one like this and the eraser one and so on now you can go back and forth using numbers from I'm, I'm gonna hit the number one and then left that's green now I'm gonna hit the number two and that's my eraser now I'm gonna hit the number one X X uh, I'm gonna make it bigger F F F F left trackpad number two left trackpad once you get to use it it's really neat 
Now I'm using my finger. Right now I'm picking up you should be able to hear me banging around with it. I bought a stylus at the office supply store. And the stylus, you just hold it like a pen or a pencil. And uh, I am now left. Oh, I better get number one. Yeah. I'm just holding down left trackpad. And I'm using the stylus instead of my finger. But you don't have to do this. And now I'm going to erase that. And remember, I changed the erase to uh, a slash. And it's really easy to use. And I recommend this program very much. Uh, there are a couple of limitations. One is I sure would have liked to have been able to be able to uh, type in some text. Like if I were going to be drawing something, I would like to say, well, I'm going to label this now and then press a button and then type in some text. I have not been able to find a way to do that yet. But other than that, gee, this is a dandy program. And I can imagine in the hands of a really good artist with a Wacom tablet, you can create works of art that are astounding. There's another thing that this thing has, and that's layers. And I have not demonstrated that. You can bring things from the front to the back uh, make layers semi-transparent, uh, move them from the background to the foreground, uh, merge them. Uh, you, can, you can draw uh, very systematically and save certain segments of your work and then say, well, that's good, and then experiment and say, no, that's no good. And like I heard Leonardo da Vinci when he was doing the Mona Lisa, he used to paint over it and over it and over it again. But, you know, if you ever changed his mind, uh-oh, too bad. Well, this way you can change your mind and bring back a layer that you had before and then get it to where you really do like it. Uh, my name is Pop. I've got a gazillion videos in YouTube called Ubuntu Basics. And I hope you enjoyed this. I thank you very, very much.